Hey, this is John with Two Moose Home Inspections. Welcome to Inspector Insights. This is part two, talking about water wells. Let's get started with the water pump. So this water pump right here, let's zoom on into it. This canister is basically a submersible water pump and there's a few stages to it. So the first stage that we have is down in this lower area, we actually have the motor. And so then this motor right here is what is going to spin those impellers. And that is what's going to push the water up. So with that motor, whenever the water comes in, the water actually surrounds that motor. When that water is surrounding the motor, that helps to cool the motor down. So if your well runs dry, the biggest issue that we have is damage to the motor. And we do not wanna have damage to the motor. So whenever that motor is spinning, it is spinning a bunch of little impellers. And basically think of those as little fan blades. And those fan blades are spinning and pushing the water up the pipe. And so now we have our water coming into this area and our water is being pushed up into the pipe. So coming down from here, we actually have a pipe and the pipe is basically just a regular old PVC pipe more than likely, uh, or some type of plastic pipe or something along those lines, and it comes straight down. So the water is being pushed up in there. Now, water volume, there can be a lot of weight. If you've ever carried some really heavy buckets, then you know water can weigh a lot. And so it's really important to keep in mind um, that we need to have some checks and balances in here. And so one of the things that you will see is that we are going to have check valves. And these check valves are going to be in the line. So that way, whenever the water is pushed up, the check valve stops it from coming back down. All right, let's finish this section right there, and then we're gonna move on to the next section, and we're gonna talk about this pitless adapter. 